My name is George Motes. My job is to make sure you appreciate the regional American burger. That's right, the regional burger. What you may or may not know is that there are many, many regional styles out there. The slug burger, the goober burger, the deep fried burger, the Oklahoma fried onion burger, the butter burger. Let's have some fun with hamburger history. Let's do it. I'm sure a deep fried burger sounds like some kind of stunt burger, but actually no. This burger has DNA that goes all the way back to the beginning, the dawn of the burger age. In the beginning, there were no flat tops. If you wanted to cook a burger, you had to get a skillet. They would deep fry a paper, paper thin piece of raw beef. Places like Dyer's have a big piece of marble in the back where they smash out their burgers and they press out the beef so it's paper thin like a bricklayer. Then you have to gently get this thing off of here and slip it into the oil. And that's it. What's really cool about this process, deep frying a burger is lightning fast. This will be done in a matter of seconds. Look at that, it's already done. They do a dyer to get the cheese on the burger. What they actually do is they put the cheese right on there and they give it a nice slow dip back into the grease. Okay. Slice of onion, some pickles. I'm gonna make a double. In the beginning, it was really just mustard, onion, and pickle. The deep fried burger, one of the original American hamburgers, it still can be found in certain spots in the Midwest. Mmm. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. See that cr those crispy bits? Look at that. Where are we getting there? Get that? Go deep. You ready for this? The butter burger. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a burger with nothing more than butter on it. That's it, just butter. This burger comes from Wisconsin. According to the Wisconsin State Legislature, in section, section 9818, subsection four, the serving of margarine at a public eating place as a substitute for butter is prohibited. Punishable by a fine of up to $500 or imprisonment. You can go to jail in Wisconsin if you try to serve somebody anything but butter in the restaurant. That's how seriously they take it. Now, Wisconsin, what they do, especially at Sally's, they take the top of the bun, right, this has been toasted, and they put a very large, almost two to three tablespoon dollop of butter on the burger. Now, this seems ridiculous, I know, but the minute that that semi-soft butter hits that hot patty, boom. Once that melted butter starts to escape onto the plate, as you take bites, you dip the burger back into the plate for more butter. Mm. Oh, look, butter. Right. Mm. <laughs> mm. Slug burger. The slug burger exists in a very, very tiny part of the country, specifically in northern Mississippi. Hard times leading up to the Great Depression meant people had to use inventive ways to extend their food supply. When it came to a hamburger restaurant, that meant taking yesterday's bread, stale bread, crushing it up and putting it into today's beef supply, thereby extending the beef supply. It was a very ingenious way to make the meat last for many, many days. Let's cook. Beef. So there are no slugs in this burger, in case you were hope maybe you're hoping for slugs. The name actually comes from the old term for a nickel because these burgers used to cost a nickel. They would say, give me a slug. So all I'm doing is combining the meat and the breadcrumbs, that's it. Don't put anything else in here. No seasoning, nothing. I have a ball of beef. It's breadcrumbs, it's high heat, it's beef, it's some salt. Wow, it's so crunchy. A little bit of mustard, some pickles, and that's it. I'm using a very uncomplicated white bun because that's honestly what would have happened 100 years ago. This burger goes back to the dawn of the hamburger age. Oh, oh. Mm. The Goober Burger from Missouri. Unfortunately, the place that I learned about the Goober Burger has closed. Moment of silence. Yeah, that sucks. The Wheel-In Drive-In of Sedalia, Missouri was a place that served the Goober Burger, a peanut butter covered burger. When you put these things together, beef flavor, peanuts, salty, a little bit of sweetness in there, peanut oil, nut oils, <laughs> sorry, sorry. These actually go a long way in creating an amazing flavor profile. Let's make one, ready? 
We're gonna toast a bun. Smash burger. Subtle salt, salty balls. All right, inappropriate, but smash. It's just hot store-bought peanut butter. That's all it is. Flip, then goober. What they do is they actually goober it right on the flat top. So I'm gonna dope the bun with some pickles. <laughs> yes! The goober burger from Sedalia, Missouri. Oh, wow. Ooh. Mm. 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 Have you ever had peanut butters and pickles? That is worth it. Mm. Ooh, so good. The Oklahoma fried onion burger, okay? It sits in the center of what I like to call the burger belt of America. There are okay. some of the best burgers in America can be found from Texas okay. south all the way north to, to Wisconsin. Minnesota. So, okay. And so, of course, that makes Oklahoma the buckle. Right. It, it makes perfect sense because some of the best primary source hamburgers can be found in Oklahoma. Right. Unaffected by time, trend, anything. The trick to the right. Oklahoma fried onion burger is thin sliced onion. If you're making onion juice, just go one step further and then you've got Almost it. where you can see through the thing. Ah, you get a scoop of meat, right? Put it in the pan. A little bit of salt. Here's the, here's the cool part. Watch this. Ready? Look at how much onion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it'll reduce. It. Okay. All of the onion juice will actually render out. You need a heavy spatula because this thing has to be smashed. We had it on this side for maybe a minute and a half. We always do cheese on flip. This is something that I do myself all, right. always. Is this all rides? It's all. It's all becoming uh, sort of a hamburger confit going on. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. This is just <laughs> like, like a bunch of burger magic happening exactly. right there. Again, you're biting into history there. That's a very important part of American. It's hamburger all. History. It's like ugly beautiful. Wow, man, like. The sum is greater than its parts. Here. Oklahoma yeah. knows what they're doing. <laughs> the value of appreciating a regional burger like this is, is that you get to go back in time and experience what somebody may have experienced 100 years ago. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, thanks for watching Burger Scholar Sessions. You should like and subscribe to this channel, but also get more episodes up here. Somewhere in here. Right there? Yeah. Watch more episodes right here.